Welcome to The Bottom Line. I'm Pastor Rick Utzi from Maranatha in Plain City, Ohio. You know, we have been in this pandemic for over a year now. And, you know, they've been rolling out a vaccine for the past uh, few months. And I'm just kind of amazed uh, myself at, at what humanity is able to accomplish. And, you know, God, when he created, you know, man and woman back in the garden, of Eden back in Genesis 1 and 2. He, he told them they are to have dominion over the earth. And everything was good. And then the fall happened and corruption happened and all kinds of stuff. And it's what allowed things like, you know, this coronavirus to, to run rampant. And, and I'm and I'm thinking, even in all that corruption, even in the fall of man and our own sin, and even in unbelievers who don't believe in God, what um uh, people can do that are created in his image like i just this vaccine in the medical field and and how quickly they could develop it and now the effect that it seems to be having here in the united states on you know the numbers of COVID going down and, and i'm just grateful I, I know some aren't uh but but i was able to get the first dose of the vaccine this week and let me tell you i thank god and i praise him that i'm able to do that and and I really think and that we all, you know, unless there are medical reasons not to, should. And, and I want to share with you why I say that. Um, I think of the story, and I saw this in a devotional a few weeks ago, maybe a month ago. And it's the story of some men in the Bible who carried a paralyzed man on a stretcher um, to where Jesus was and they led him down they cut a hole in the ceiling broke a hole and led him down so that he could be healed it says just then some men came carrying on a stretcher a man who was paralyzed they tried to bring him in and set him down before him since they could not find a way to bring him in because of the crowd they went up on the roof and lowered him on the stretcher through the roof tiles into the middle of the crowd before Jesus and I'm like you know they were concerned about their friend, the man that they were bringing to Jesus because they felt that Jesus could heal him. And, and, and so they went through a lot to get him to that place. And I think by taking the vaccine, not only am I protecting myself, which I'm very grateful for that, but, but I think as more people take the vaccine, it protects everyone. It allows the virus less of a chance to be passed on. It allows less variants to develop over time. If more and more people keep getting the vaccine and it keeps on going. And, I, and I've heard, you know, several reasons why we shouldn't uh, do it. One is that maybe the pandemic's not that bad anyway. And we've seen over time that it really is worse than the flu when at the beginning people were saying, some were saying maybe it's not. It's killed over 500,000 people. And, you know, look at the isolation it's caused because of the social distancing and, and masks quarantines and all that that's going on and and I think it's just good to be able to to have hope that that the COVID the virus is actually declining here in the United States and I think a large part due to the vaccine I've heard a couple other things and I just want to address this briefly because um, I think it's one of those things that some Christians uh, look to because they think this is the end times and it could be but they think that you know maybe there's a chip inside this vaccine that bill gates and others are putting it in and so that we can be tracked and not only that we can be tracked and by the way there's no evidence of this it's one of those conspiracy theories that that is false but but even if it were true like um people think that it could be the sign of the beast and, and i just want to you know, from a Christian perspective, say, yes, there is going to be an end times and things are going to get worse. And could that be happening in the next few years? Yes, Jesus could come, I think, at any time. Um, has every generation thought that it could be in their generation? Yes. And so I don't know if he's coming today, 10 years from now, or another thousand years. We just don't know. But, but here's what I want. I want us to know the character of our God. It says in Revelations 13, this is where it talks about the mark of the beast and we're going to get the mark and, and uh, you don't want to do that. And those are going to perish who, who get it. But, but it says that in, in Revelations 13, 
It says the people who are going to get this mark, they worship the dragon because he gave authority to the beast. And they worship the beast saying, who is like the beast? Who is able to wage war against it? And it goes on in verse 14 and says, and talking about the beast, he deceives those who live on the earth because of the sign that is permitted to perform in the presence of the beast, telling those who live on the earth to make an image of the beast who was wounded by the sword and yet lived. And it goes on in verse 16 and says, and it makes everyone small and great, rich and poor, free and slave to receive a mark on his right hand or on his forehead so that no one can buy or sell. And so while it's true, the technology's coming around that you can see this happening. My God is not gonna allow true Christians to be tricked into taking a mark that could be the mark of the beast unknowingly. Like, my God isn't a trickster. The devil's the liar and the trickster. The devil is the one that deceives people. My God isn't. God says, you're gonna worship the beast. You're gonna know this person. You're gonna worship this person. You're gonna willingly take this mark. It's not gonna be a surprise. So, so I just wanna encourage people like there isn't some unknowing trick that's going to happen that you're going to take up the mark of the beast if you're a true Christian and not know it. And so I just want to encourage people with that. This is not, this vaccine is not the mark of the beast. As a matter of fact, I think it's a good thing. And here's the bottom line. I, I so look forward to being able to, to come together at church and to be able to sing and worship and praise God and not have masks and not social distance, to be able to get together with bigger groups inside and families and to be able to rejoice together what what a time that will be and i thank god that that humanity has created a vaccine that may allow that to come sooner rather than later because i'm all up for the sooner amen thank you for watching and i'll see you next time on the bottom line